What's up, everyone? Welcome. This is Bharat, and welcome back to yet another video. We are continuing on the Kiwi app development series. So for this one, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to create or use a color picker, uh, which is coming as part of the Kiwi library itself. I'm going to show you guys how you can use it in your application. Let's get this video started straight away. All right. So first things first, like I always say, you need a couple of things in your uh, system. One is obviously Python and uh, Kiwi should also be installed in your system. I'm not going to take you guys over that things. Let's get straight ahead and start working on our application itself because I've got a couple of things to show you. First of all, that uh, we're going to require the first simple Py file and followed by that, we're also going to be using the KV lang. This entire series of video is based on a little bit of complex things or I would say advanced things. Uh, this is not in any way a basic basic uh, tutorial if you guys are interested to check out the basic tutorial you should follow me or check out my previous playlist i've linked it in the description so for this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys on how to use the python file to use a pop-up and in that pop-up we are going to be having or using our color picker and when you choose the color picker our background is also going to change based on that so that's going to be the whole idea behind this uh, entire project so let's go ahead and start right uh, working on our first file i'm going to be calling this the main file i just renamed it as min by mistake let's do that again all right so the first one is going to be a main file oh my god what happened to me uh we're going to be renaming this as a main file yes all right so we're going to have few things imported the first thing that we're going to import is obviously the kiwi uh, library itself from the kiwi uix.widget let's import the widget because we're going to be using few widgets as part of this uh, project the second thing we are going to be using is the from the uix dot uh, kiwi dot uix dot layout let's import the app as well and from next we're going to be using the kiwi.uix like i said we need a pop-up right so we'll import a pop-up as part of this as well there should be app all right so we have three things imported we have the basic as usual we have the app as well as the widget as well as the pop-up the next thing we're going to be using is the obviously from the uix we're going to be using the color picker which is what is actually a widget that comes uh, as part of the uh, this one as well as the kiwi library itself all right so if you have few things imported here we have the widget we have the app pop-up and color picker let's start working on our uh, application directly from here so first thing we're going to need is to create our basic uh, file right as usual we do is we create our basic app file let me call it as uh, uh, class a kiwi or i usually write it as kiwi app let me call it as kiwi app and we're going to be uh, inheriting the app from that and inside that let's run our build method i'm going to be calling the build method in some time for now let's uh, just command it out and we also have the main and we're going to be using the um, kiwi app of dot run all right so that's pretty much it so we have the template as we should create it let's get into the main uh for the build method for the build method i'm going to be I'm, I'm visualizing something like this i'm going to be having a widget and in this widget i'm going to be having another widget which is going to be the pop-up so when i have the pop-up created inside this pop-up i'm going to be loading my uh, color picker so when i choose the color picker my background is also going to change based on that so that's going to be the whole idea behind this let's go and start writing our build method before the build method we need to have our pop-up right so let me let me create a method class called as main picker or main picker is going to be a widget uh, and this widget is basically going to be holding our entire logic so the first logic that i'm going to be saying is that i want to you to have a method or i want it to have a very simple uh, variable called a selected color now the selected color is what is going to be selected by the uh, pop-up uh, or the inside the pop-up we have the color picker right so i'm going to be choosing the color picker i have my mistake added this color picker app so inside the selected color i'm going to be saying have some color and whatever color is going to be present is going to be what is going to load load it as the background so this for the selected color i'm going to be setting something like this let me set something like zero comma zero comma one comma one rgba stands for red green uh, blue and a for alpha which is going to control the alpha of the color so what we are going to be seeing as part of this is to load the selected color as part of our background color uh, for the uh, the background of the, the widget which is going to be the main picker here and once we are done this is going to be loaded so that's that's what i'm thinking right now next thing we're going to need is obviously to have a basic color 
color picker widget itself created and also the color pop-up so we are all now going to be creating our color pop-up widget so i'm going to be creating this as pop-up loading it from pop-up and i'm just going to say pass it for now because i'm going to be writing the entire logic inside my kv file and the next one i'm going to be using is the color uh, picker widget itself and this is going to be color picker hindering the color picker i'm going to pass this as well all right so we have passed things we have done these things here and we have loaded these things now we need to just come up with the logic that is going to load our entire thing let's go and create our first uh, kv file i'm going to be creating a uh, uh, i created my file as kv app right so let me create as kv dot um, no i'm sorry it should be kv dot kv dot kv create as kv dot kv all right awesome so we're going to start writing our kv file and we're going to start working on that kv file right from the start so we have your color pop-up here right so we have the color pop-up class let's go and first construct our color pop-up class i'm hopeful hoping that you guys know the kv notation for these things i want to give it a title i'm going to say uh, select the color so this color pop-up is going to be basically uh, the the pop-up that's going to come up when you click on a button we come we come constructing that as we go down the next thing we're going to say is to uh, now get the size i want it to be not more than 400 comma 400 because the entire pop-up will occupy most of the screen followed by that we're going to say auto dismiss uh, do not auto dismiss because if he's, if somebody is clicking outside the pop-up region, I don't want it to be auto dismissable. The next thing we're going to do is now going to load the color picker uh, widget, which is this one, as the child inside this one. So I'm going to say color picker widget. So I'm just saying color picker widget, load the color picker widget. And inside that, I'm going to say on color, meaning that when the color is actually loaded, I'm going to be writing that method wrong. When on color is going to be fired, just do app.root.selected color is equal to self dot color now what is this entire logic happening here right so what exactly is the uh, logic happening here the app dot root dot selected color is going to be loaded uh, it's going to be this met this selected color here I'm, I'm going to be saying when the so i'm going to be saying when the on color or this color picker widgets on color is fired this is going to be a color picker method which is going to be inside the color picker method we go here you can see that on color is right here so it's going to be a binded method when this binded method is fired whenever this binded method is fired go and set this value to the color of that whatever is clicked easy right you understood that part awesome you have done that part we've said on fire just load my base selected color variable all right now let's go and load the button which is going to be coming as part of this one here i'm going to say a button and i'm going to say text is equal to finalize so when the finalize button is clicked that that uh, pop-up will close so next thing you're going to say is obviously uh, give it a position hint uh, we can just say something like uh, uh, center x uh, is 0 0.76 uh, 0 0.75 i don't know i'm just giving some random number and the y is going to be uh, probably 0.5 i don't know again this is going to be some kind of a number that i'm going to try out next i want to, to have a 100 comma 100 number so let's fire that in the first place where my mouse go the mouse is here 100 comma 100 and followed by that we are going to do nothing more than that when, when on press is clicked just dismiss this entire thing meaning that just dismiss the entire uh, pop-up basically all right so we've created our color pop-up the color pop-up is done the next thing we're going to do is to now go and decorate our main picker the main picker is just a simple method till now we're going to decorate our main picker to have few things inside it let's do that right now and first things first we're going to say the main picker is going to have a size which is going to be root dot size so nothing complex here next thing let's load a canvas inside that and in the color i'm going to say because this is going to be the main picker right this is going to have the background color now instead of loading the color or giving it a, a usual color let's give the color of the selected color meaning that we are creating this color here this is going to be the basic color that's going to be present let's load this color in uh, whatever color is present here lo load it uh, as part of the background color now what will happen when you're changing the color pop-up from here 
this color pop-up is obviously going to be set uh, this uh, on color fired is going to set the value for the base selected color uh, variable to whatever is correct being selected this selected color is what this character means so it's just linked right here we're just saying whatever the pop-up is being selected take that value and put it as part of the background color so you'll see the magic happening when i'm actually running this application let's get moving so we said that and what else we're going to say is that just have a rectangle as the shape and you're going to say size is going to be self dot size pause is going to be self dot pause and voila you have done now if we obviously need something to fire this pop-up right so i'll just create a simple button and i say this button is going to be having a size of about 100 comma 100 and the 100 comma 100 button will probably be in some center of the of the screen so let's leave it that and we'll say uh select color basically this is going to be the send select color fire that's going to fire and on press and we're going to say when on press is going to be done we are going to now fire or we're going to just open up our pop-up right we'll write this logic first we'll go here and i'm going to be writing some logic inside that i'm going to be creating a method inside this first of all i'll call this method as maybe select color picker i don't know i'll just call it select color picker and obviously do not forget the args here and when this method is going to be fired we're going to just say whenever this method is going to be written whenever this method is going to be called we're just going to do uh, call popup dot open so we're just going to open the basically the popup and uh, that's what is going to be happening when this button is pressed so i'm just going to say root dot uh, what was this method called as uh, yeah select color picker and select color picker don't forget the args again here so basically we have created our button we have created the text for that we just say on fire just open up or pop up and we are just going to be done with that so we are basically constructed our color pop up we are basically constructed our main picker as well so we both constructed both of these things as part of our kv the logic is written uh, now one more thing that is going to remind is that we don't want this property or this value uh, so the co selected color is basically going to be used as part of an rgba right so this is going to be written as part of an rgba now what do you think is the selected color going to be written it's not going to be a simple array of like this rather it's going to be a list property that's going to be written so i tried when i when i the the documentation says it's, it does take a list property but when you pass it along like this it does not work so what i did was i just had to pass this as part of a list property which is coming uh, which is actually an internal method basically util utility for data um, parsing or passing you can call it that so this property is going to be a class where you can just import it from here so once you import the list property uh, now it's able to understand what the value should be it should be a list property of array just don't forget that part alone i did that mistake i, I almost forgot all right so selected color is there list property is fired and you are pretty much open all right so we're pretty much uh, ready to go let's run our application before that you shouldn't forget our build method this build method is going to be saying uh, pretty much like uh, main picker return the main picker all right so we written the main picker and that's pretty much what this entire build is going to do now let's fire this application let's see what happens uh, there's some kind of an error that's happening it says that uh the center x 0.5 uh the center y oh my god i missed this i knew there was something wrong all right so it's going to be this way builder issue let's make sure that we are writing some good logic here All right, so this is what my application is looking at right now. It does not look really that good. So I think the text is actually very, very bad. It's just fired up in some corner and what, what it was not what I was expecting. Let's move it a little bit inside. Uh, probably, um, I don't think this is going to make any effect. All right, so I think the button is a little bit smaller in size. Let's move it inside. I would pretty much hope that the button is inside. And also, the size is also perfect. All right, let's rerun it to see what happens. Stop and rerun. Application is run. All right, so this is much better. So the application is right now here. Um, It does look really bad. All right, let's fire this application now. Awesome, right? Now, the button is way, way huge, much more bigger than expected it to be. Right, let's let's check all right the background is changing and when i click this 
all right so it's just it did change but i'm still not very happy with the size of this entire thing i'm just going to give the size hint as none so that the button size is not that huge all right so one change i've done is to just give the size hint as none because uh, what happens is that when you are firing up the button uh, this button automatically takes the default size and that's what is causing our things to be too huge for us now this is way way better right that's what we expected it to be it's going to be like this i want it as part of the color swatch like this and not and i just wanted to show you guys this part so the trick is just to have the size hint as none and if you have it any more than that it's going to occupy the entire right hand side portion of the uh, the color picker so the color picker does load the entire page and we just can see that it does load it like this we can move the color side as well and when finalize the background is changed as we expect it to be now it's going to be very very simple from here if you want to say do a drawing board of sorts you could just create a simple widget uh, something like this here call as uh, maybe a circular widget or maybe you can call it as a you, you can call it as an ellipse widget and load this load this ellipse widget as part of an add widget so every time the button is clicked on the ui you can just add that widget with that background color it's just gonna keep on adding and look like you're drawing something on the ui so basically that's what a lot of people do i just wanted to give you guys a very simple and brief explanation on how it does look on the uh, or on using the color picker itself hopefully this video is informative for everybody let's wrap this up on what we learned today all right, so what we learned is that we learned about creating a color picker. So this color picker is a very cool kind of a tool uh, or you can call it as a cool kind of a library that's going to be available as part of the Kiwi itself. So this class is going to take a few things. The first thing that is going to take is that it's going to occupy the entire screen. So make sure you're doing it as part of a pop up. So the second important thing that you need to know as part of color picker is that the color picker is very, very uh, cool to use, but it's also important that you are passing all the callbacks. The callback is that whatever color is going to be used it's going to be firing the on color bind method so on color bind method is going to be what we're going to be using to set our base root method or base root variable called a selected color the selected color takes the list property as the class or the type and using that we are firing our background or changing the background color and that's pretty much the entire uh, tutorial that i wanted to share with you guys so if you found this video informative you know what to do smash that like button subscribe for more kiwi related content i'm currently doing a lot of videos on kiwi so make sure you subscribe for that and let me know what you guys want to know or see in the next video i'll meet you there until then it's bharat peace out have super awesome day